Welcome to Movie Film, I'm Carl and we're back today with another tier list. This time, taking a look at the Batman movies. Now straight away, you might notice something on screen that one movie in particular is missing. The 1966 Adam West Batman. That's not on this list. I didn't make the list, I just found it on Tier Maker and decided to go through it. Unfortunately that's not on the list, but I put it pretty high. Anything with Adam West is all right in my book. So as you can see on the left side of the screen, the categories today include going from top to bottom, greatest, great, good, okay, and then bat nipples. So I think that clarifies straight away, you know, what the worst movies are. So there's not a whole lot of movies to get through today, but there are some big decisions to be made, starting with the 1989 Tim Burton and Michael Keaton Batman movie. Now a lot of people consider this to be the best Batman. A lot of people like Michael Keaton as Batman and consider him to be the best. For me, I've always enjoyed the movie, but I never personally found it spectacular. I'm not gonna lie there. And I've said in previous videos before, Tim Burton, not my favorite film director. Not that he's bad, it's just he's not to my personal taste. I'm sure if you're a comic book fan, you'll love these movies. They definitely took it more comic book route. And it is one of the better iterations of Batman, because let's be honest, there has been some shitty Batman. But the 989 Batman is a pretty iconic movie and I'm gonna put it in great. Not quite the greatest, but it definitely sets a high standard for this list. Moving swiftly on to its sequel, Batman Returns, a movie which was also very good, similar vein, same people in it. Again, Michael Keaton's Batman, Tim Burton directing. Very good, enjoyable movie. Was it as good as the original? Maybe not quite, but it is still a very enjoyable movie. I'm gonna put it in good for now. And anything that gets beyond that, anything that gets into the great category, has to be better than Batman Returns. Moving on, let's just get this one quickly out of the way. Batman and Robin. That's a utility belt, not a money belt. Six million. Seven million. <laughs> Never leave the cave without it. You too. George Clooney and the Bat Nipples. That's going right into Bat Nipples, which is the lowest of low categories. Perhaps the lowest category we've had on any tier list. You got the Bat Nipples, the Bat Credit Card. You got Ernie as Mr. Freeze. It's just all awful. Then you got Val Kilmer as Batman. Batman Forever, I gotta say I was disappointed with this one, especially with how good the original two were. This one doesn't hold anywhere near as good. It's not quite as bad as Batman and Robin, but it's pretty bad nipples. Moving swiftly on, we got the Lego Batman movie. That's straight away going in a great movie. What a, what a hell of a movie. And then of course, we're gonna take a look at the Christopher Nolan films. And for me, you got straight away go to Dark Knight, draw it right up the top. Not only one of the best Batman movies, but one of the best movies ever. If you saw our countdown of the 100 greatest movies, that one ranks pretty high and with good reason. Even if you don't like Batman or you don't like superhero movies, you can still enjoy that movie as a standalone movie. A hell of a movie from Christopher Nolan and perhaps even still the gold standard of superhero movies. Will there ever be a better superhero movie than The Dark Knight? I don't think so. Now the movie that started the Christopher Nolan Batman series Batman Begins. Batman Begins is a hell of a movie. It's not quite on the level of The Dark Knight, but I think it's definitely as good as, if not better than, the original Batman movie, the 1989 version. I enjoyed it a bit more. I think Scarecrow is actually perhaps one of the more underrated Batman villains in those series of films. You also got Qui-Gon Jinn in there, you know, in least as well as Ghoul, of course. And it set the tone for three great Batman movies. And for me, it can only go in one place, and that's great. It's not quite as good as A Dark Knight, but it's definitely as good as the Lego Batman movie. Then The Dark Knight Rises, and this one's a bit of a conundrum, because I adored this movie in the cinema. This movie's about three hours long, but when I watched it in the cinema, it felt like about an hour and a half. Everything just whizzed by, some great action, a decent twist in it, which you could probably see coming a mile off, but it's a decent enough twist, some great performances in there, Marion Cotillard's in there, we got Bane in this one. I'd say it's borderline great, but it might only go in the good category. I'm not 100% sure it's gonna be a tentative great. And if you disagree with that, let me know in the comments and more importantly, let me know why. Maybe you think it should be in the greatest, maybe you think it should be in good, or maybe even in bat nipples. But moving on to a movie, speaking about bat nipples, Batman vs Superman. That movie's just awful. As per usual, with these type of lists, I will leave a link in the description to this specific list so you can make your own list and send it to me on Twitter, showing me what I did wrong, 
You can send it to me on Twitter. There's links in the description to the Twitter page. But let's take a quick rundown of what we've got in the list, starting from top to bottom. So in the greatest category, as I wax lyrical about the dark, night takes the greatest Batman movie spot. In the great section, filled with a lot of movies. We got the 1989 Batman. We got Lego Batman, which I was kind of a joke putting him in there. I'm probably going to drop him down to be good, to be honest. Then we got Batman Begins, spectacular movie. Dark Knight Rises, as I said, it was debatable whether it was good or great, just borderline great for me. Then we moved down to Batman Returns, very good movie, very enjoyable movie, but not quite great. Lego Batman in there, I really enjoy Lego Batman. It's not quite a serious Batman movie, but it's a bit of fun. Nothing in the okay category, and then we move down to our lowest of low categories, Bat Nipples, and of course, Batman Robin has to be in there, mainly because of the Bat Nipples, partially, because of Mr. Freeze, and partially because of the back credit card. Then we've got Batman Forever, Val Kilmer as Batman, built to a letdown in that one. It's got a great cast, it should be better than it is, but it's just kind of boring for a Batman movie. Then you've got Batman vs Superman, which I don't think needs any explanation as to why that's in Bat Nipples. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button just so I know what you're watching. And of course, if you're new to movie film, check out some of the other content on our channel. I think you'll definitely find something to enjoy if you like movies. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for new content every Wednesday and Friday. With all that said and all that done, thank you so much for watching.